guys, Simcolor here, and today we are going to start working on our, uh, on an overall for the PayPal uh, payout system. And the reason is uh, the one that I have currently implemented in the app, it is not good. I knew at the time, and that's why I refer to you guys to only use that for, uh, I don't know, maybe proof of concept or, or something like that. But it isn't good if you want to go ahead and implement a professional application because it has a lot of flaws. And so uh, I've been searching around and today I finally got something working that I believe it is good enough. It is safe, you can, are completely free to use and no one can hack into it, your system. Well, probably someone could, but it is a lot safer than what we had before. And so I believe it is good enough to go ahead and to to be implemented in a professional system obviously you have to do a lot more work to make it uh, up to the standard but it is a good starting point and we are going to use uh, to stop using uh, our own server for that we are, and we are going to start using um, a f um, something that a tool that's available to us through firebase which is called firebase functions and they allow us to um, run code in a server side so that it is off the ends of the user and only uh, we can control them. Okay, so let's go into the Firebase project and let's go inside uh, this little uh, thing right here that's called functions. Okay, and now uh, start and we are brought up to this uh, page and so firebase functions runs on node.js which is a framework for uh, to run javascript in the server side you can think of it like that and because of that you must install the node.js um, application if you want to call it that so come in, in here in the node.js.org and download your uh, node.js and after that's done downloading, you can simply go into your uh, uh, menu, type Node.js, and the command prompt will appear. It must be the command prompt of the Node.js. It can't be the, the CMD that you normally see. So not this one, but the other, the, the one that's associated with the PC. It must be this one. Okay. So after that's done, we are simply going to come in here and... The first thing that we are going to do is to create a, a folder in your um, environment, in your desktop, wherever, that has the name of whatever you are going to, to do. So in my case, I'm going to simply come in here, say new folder, and I'm going to call it uh, Uber Functions. Okay. And that's created, so we can open this up again, come in here and simply do cd which is change directory because right now we are in the c users simco so we must change that and it is in the desktop so desktop you can see it changed to desktop and now we are going to change into our uber dot the slash functions okay and we are in here so um, your project will all be sitting inside this folder and we'll be uploading uh, the, the, the whole folder to the Firebase um, functions or Firebase hosting in this case because we'll all, we all, uh, also have the ability to run web pages with this um, tool. So yeah, that's it. So now let's go in here and grab the npm install uh, Firebase tools and simply copy that. And it will run, uh, do its thing. And because I already have this installed, I believe uh, it will just do um, reinstall. And okay, okay. So after the the Firebase tools has finished running, simply do Firebase login, and the page uh, will you will be taken to a page of the, your uh, Google account. So simply log into whichever um, account you want. And I made a mistake, so I'm going to do it again. Yes. And to terminate any, 
anything that's going on in your terminal, simply click Control C and it will be all rolled back. Okay, logging in. Okay, it is logged in. And now we can uh, initialize both our hosting part of the app, which I'm going to initialize even though I'm not going to use, but it, it is just so that you can have everything ready if you want to, and the functions part of the project. So let's go in here and Firebase init, first of all, hosting. And it will start working. Make sure uh, this uh, path right here corresponds to the folder that you created. Okay, I want to proceed. And now I'm going to choose uh, the, our, m the Firebase project that I want to associate this uh, with, which in this case is the Uber app. Okay, it will let's create a directory that will contain all of the web pages that we want. So I'm going to call it public. Configure as a single page, we are going to say no. Okay, the initialization is completed. So now we can initialize, so again, Firebase init space functions. And these will contain all the code that's associated with the payouts that we want. The functions you can think of as the back, back end of your app and the, the hosting you can think of as the front end for the web part of your app. So functions, make sure again that the, this path is ready, yes. What language? We are going to use JavaScript and say yes for this ESLint, okay? Say yes to install the dependencies and now you have to wait a bit for it to install. Okay, after the dependencies have been installed, we are going to go ahead and install um, the part that is uh, needed for the PayPal uh, implementation. So for that, we are going to simply do npm i and this I, I'm going to write it all just so to make it clear uh, when you do npm i or npm install it will try to install that package and the package that we want is the paypal and oops I forgot something before that and I'm going to come in here into my folder that I created and you can do it yourself just to see exactly what was created if you come in here, you can see that you have the public folder, which has your web pages, uh, which we are not going to really use, and the functions folder, which will contain everything that has to do with the backend. Okay, so this is really important, and we are not going to go over all of this today. I'm just going to install everything that we need, and then uh, in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and go into uh, mainly the functions folder. But for now, we must go into the functions folder and only inside here can we install the PayPal packages. So let's do SD functions. And as you can see, we've changed directory to the functions one. And now simply say npm install PayPal slash rest slash SDK and it should begin installing okay so just wait a bit okay so now we are done uh, everything should be working so let's just do a simple firebase deploy and these whenever you do a firebase deploy it will send all of the code to the functions and so that we can use and um uh, uh url with everything that we have will be attributed to us so let it just run Okay, and you can see that greens are popping up. That means that things are going uh, good. And now you have this hosting URL. So I'm going to just grab it, copy, let's go in here, paste it, and a page appears. And this page corresponds to what we have in here in the public folder. It corresponds to this index. And I'm going to open up the code just so that you guys can see it. Uh, if you just go through this, you'll realize that this code will make up this page. 
okay? So yeah, just keep that in mind. The public folder, which is this one right here, has everything that uh, allow us to to show um, to populate a page, a web, a web page, and the functions has all of the code that we'll have, and we'll make uh, HTTP requests in the case of the PayPal to for the the back the the server to make the payout itself and the user won't be able to see the code and therefore it will much be much better than the impl implementation that we had because with that implementation the, the user was able to see the code and therefore it was not safe at all okay and if you come in here into the hosting page you'll be able to see all the deploys that we've done which is we've just made one so yeah uh, one more thing make sure that you don't delete this folder because all of the code will be here and you are unable to get the code from the, the server. So this is extremely important, don't delete it. And yeah, so, okay, so we have all of the dependencies that we need. Uh, in the next lesson, we'll start working with the, the PayPal SDK, we'll start developing the backend. And uh, in the, the last lesson, we'll probably do the, um, the HTTP request from our Android app. Uh, one more thing. I'm sorry. I just realized this. Um, I'm very yet. I'm sorry. I'm just fixing this now. But I the functions part tools of the part of the Firebase wasn't uh, developed enough. You, you didn't have enough tools to make this work because the pages used to be uh, all static, but now they are dynamic, which means we can run code on the server side and we can actually go ahead and do this. So yeah, I'll try to, to release the next video as fast as possible for you guys. So yeah, thank you all very much for watching. I hope to see you again tomorrow and ciao.